Yeah, hello and welcome to the Lee Chess Titled Arena number five. I hope you all made it all right to this stream. I'm very happy to be the official announcer for this tournament. So Lee Chess asked me to do the commentary and I'm happy to do so. We are going to be on very shortly. Um, I mean, the tournament is going to be starting very shortly. Uh, I'm on the tournament page and it says starting in five. Well, this is very loud, isn't it? Um, how can I actually turn this sound down? Let me turn that down a little bit. It's a bit too loud. Hope that's better. Yeah, thanks a lot for subscribing. There was a subscribing sound. Okay, so that tournament um, is now on for the fifth time. The first four editions all have been won by Magnus Carlsen under various account names. I think um, the first one was not Dr. Drunkenstein. He had some other, uh, some other account. Uh, by the way, I read the chat. I'm happy to, um, to answer questions, things like that. I'm um, always having an eye on the chat. I mean, if it's really, really busy, it can be difficult to read absolutely everything, but uh, I'm trying. What is that? Okay. Um, so we are ready to go in four minutes. This tournament, who's um, actually the favorite? I mean, definitely Magnus is the favorite again. But um, he had huge issues um, in the fourth edition. He was behind the whole tournament and at times for uh, yeah, many points, by many points behind behind uh, Andrew Tang, who's uh, here on as uh, Pendrin, Penguin IM1. Yeah, complicated name. Um, he was leading the whole tournament and Magnus only um, ca caught him at the very end of the event. Um, but we have tons of strong grandmasters who can definitely put up a fight. Um, maybe not for first place, but you never know. You also have to see that the ratings um, are sometimes not super precise for some players if they are not regularly playing bullet on leeches or um, maybe um, yeah, simply uh, are rather inactive. It sometimes happens. Yeah should deactivate the follow notifications. Yeah, hmm, that's a good thing, but uh, I'm not sure how to do it. <laughs> um, maybe I can do this um, without sound. Yeah, that would be probably a good idea. Let me check, maybe I can mute it somehow. really not sure how I see your point but I don't see how yeah I don't know if you if I can deactivate it now I don't see I don't see how exactly I should deactivate it sorry um, I'm, I don't know. Can I, I would like to switch the sound off for it, maybe, but uh, or I can deactivate it entirely, I believe. That, that I can do. I, I really don't mind that all that much. Um, okay, so we have... I know I can deactivate it on Streamlabs, but I don't want to do that right now, right before the tournament is starting. So we are one minute... Um, a little bit, yeah, one minute, 30. Um, yeah, I, I can do it on the Streamlabs uh, page, but uh, it's not a, not a big, it still has the sound, yeah, this is weird. I have no, I have no clue. <laughs> the sound, I, I don't know. The sound is on. I have deactivated the the text. Yeah. Um, yeah, there are still sounds, but uh, I don't really see how to, 
how to do it. I mean, I can try to deactivate that. Let me check. Yeah, I switched it. Uh, I switched it off. Okay, so let's get going, and I'm going to start to watch a bit of Magnus, but I don't want to do it the whole time. And we have number one against number two at the very, very beginning. So um, yeah, here Magnus has uh, taken on e5, and oh, that's a blunder. But b7 is hanging, so it's not a blunder. <laughs> we have to be very cordial. There's still the sound. There's still the sound. I don't know where it is coming from. I've switched it all off. <laughs> I don't know. I absolutely don't know where this is coming from. Um, okay, so let's um, see this game. Yeah, Magnus here is um, up a pawn and uh, up a couple of seconds, which is also quite worth something in this scenario. It's bullet without any increment, which is a difference to some other um, some other websites and, and events. For example, the, um, the chess.com events there with increment, and this is without increment. Yeah, here the A-pawn will be very dangerous. The knight um, is kind of offside on F3, and it looks like the A-pawn should, uh, should win the game. Yeah, preserves the bishop and um, yeah white should should win this end game the best that black can hope for is to defend um, defend um, with against rook and rook and bishop no I'm not playing I'm doing the official commentary here for leeches and it's better to yeah focus on the the top level games oh that was a big one what did Magnus do there so this is probably probably going to be ending in a draw. Let's see what uh, Knight King is doing. He's a very strong blitz player, Bortnik. He's uh, just a... Wow, that was really a bad game of Magnus. Maybe he can save the draw, but he should should win on time. Uh, he shouldn't win on time here. Yeah. Oh, Queen could have been taken, but it's all pre-move. Oh, that, oh, Magnus was very slow also at the end, so that uh, that was a bad start. So I'm going to stick with him for a little while and then see that we also look at uh, some other games. But he definitely has to um, yeah, do a better job than in the very first game. Yeah, here we've got a King's Indian exchange. And what's happening here? Okay, now he's playing. I'm just kibitzing. Aha, Magnus seems, uh, says that he hasn't played any bullets since the last arena. Okay, we'll see what happens. Bullet is a lot about um, yeah practice and, and having a flow. Yeah, here he's a pawn down, but should get one pawn back on b2. And um, black has some some activity with the rook. So he's maybe a little bit uh, for choice, but it's not something that should um, yeah white blunder the pawn, basically. It's still not something that should necessarily win, but it's definitely... Uh, annoying for white to defend in a 
in a bullet scenario. I think the sounds are also gone now. Yeah, let's see if Magnus can convert this. What he definitely wants, if possible, is um, a passer on the king side, maybe with h4 and h3 he can do something. And now white allowed him to activate the king. That should be winning for black now. Yeah, check on the second probably. And um, yeah, black, oh, that's even better. Yeah? It's going to now promote one of the pawns and there is no um, there is no defense in terms of stalemates or anything. Here we've got the queen and uh, black one. So a win in the second round for, for Magnus. Well, now the early loss um, yeah, gets to some pairings that people really would really like to get, you know. <laughs> Uh, you don't play Magnus later in the tournament. I mean, he will definitely catch up to the top, but it might take uh, take a, take a while if um, the other guys at the very top continue to win. So here, White is also in good shape. Black's knight on e8 in particular is very bad, and now c5 is a strong move. Yeah, Black bishop c4 moves like that now come very naturally. Is also nice. Wins the queen. Now you got the sounds again. <laughs> I have no clue. I thought I, ch I switched it off, but uh, anyway. Yeah, and black black resigned. I don't watch Gordon Ramsay. That's a, that's a cooking show, right? I don't watch any TV, so uh, definitely a no. Okay, Grandmaster Baba Ramdev. I don't know who that is. From the US, mm -hmm. okay. So we have a, a Sicilian type of position here. And um, I think black tries to get an initiative on the king side. Looks quite nice now, maybe using the G file. Yeah, but white is extremely solid, so it doesn't look like it is so dangerous. Taking on F4 loses to queen G7 now, I think. Yeah, should 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 not work at least. Mm, okay, maybe you can take on g4 and sacrifice on g4. Yeah, it does work. It seems queen h4 is winning. King e2, rook g2, and black wins the queen. Okay, and now, <laughs> yeah, okay, after the, the, the rooks all of a sudden get extremely active, that was really weird. And now this is uh, dropping the A8 rook, but I didn't see what Magnus uh, could do about it. That's a very weird game. Yeah, okay, this is at least a draw, but white can of course and should probably um, Avoid the draw. Yeah, white white should win. But it's still still tricky. Yeah, the king is super safe. Eh? The knight on f3 is such a monster. It prevents all the checks, covers everything. Yeah, white should win. Not easy. Not easy at all for Magnus. It looked like a win, but all of a sudden things things dropped, yeah. So let's see, Grandmaster Rain Man, what's happening here. Magnus has to get some wins um, in, in, in one row. And then uh, he will also get those uh, bonus points. What happens here? White didn't move. Okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe he needs some... Needs need some beer or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm still following him. If we we jump back here, let's see. We, we don't have to watch uh, him uh, the, the whole time. Let's let's see what Penguin Jam is doing. He's also extremely strong in bullet. He's playing Knight King currently. They are both um, 
ranked number three and number four. So what is this position like? We have to adjust here. It's like material is equal, but white has a really nice attack going on the king side. So I think white should be for choice in this position. Now let's see what what happens. Knight h4, knight f5 is definitely an idea, but e5 is under pressure. So the bishop is first improved. This is a very nice looking maneuver. Yeah, and white has the better ending, it seems. And Magnus got connection issues. That, that's possible, of course. So let's see what, what happens here. Very dangerous for the black king, but uh, it seems like there is no immediate issue. Bishop e5 mate is the threat, but there are checks and uh, the exchange got lost. But white will win this on time for sure. Yeah, very, uh, very quickly played by Penguin. Now playing RK50. Who is RK50? Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Okay. Atomic World Champion. I don't see the name. Okay, so what's going on here? I've got an equal material position, but knight b4, I think, was a strong move that black somehow did not play. Jumping into d3 was strong. Well, I mean, black, black, it's mate. Mate on g2. What's going on here? Hello? Am I blind? <laughs> What's going on here? There was mate on g2 more than once. <laughs> kind of, I'm kind of stunned that 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 they don't make them that they don't play the mate. I mean, black is winning anyway, but mate is mate is mate. <laughs> I'm kind of doubting myself. Like, who? Huh? <laughs> what are they doing? Okay, this was also a very clean win by by black. I mean, main mate is mate is mate. <laughs> WGM Kukus, who is that? Oops, I'm sorry about that. I'd like to learn who that is. Petra Pap from Hungary. Yeah, okay. Yeah, very nice position here for white and uh, bishop g5 now would be a problem. Okay, f6 is still a move, so it's not clear that this is extremely strong. Oh, it actually isn't, yeah, in this particular move order. No, well, this is nothing much. Probably f4 to keep the e5 pawn, yeah. Yeah, d4 will probably um, fall. But good play, good play by black. Yeah, but white is quite... Um, no, I don't really think it's impolite for title players not to give their real names in their profile. Um, I'm, I'm not sure why they why they should uh, should need to do it. Um, it's not um, that I mean in, in, on some servers the title players are um, given free accounts, and um, for example in the Internet Chess Club on the ICC, as a title player you get uh, I mean I am at higher, you get a free account, but you are supposed to um, or you have to not supposed to, you have to uh, give your name in the profile. But uh, I kind of understand that because they kind of feel like having more title players is beneficial for their membership count and they want their want um, the names in there, but as Lee Jazz is free anyway. Black is, by the way, extremely, extremely quick. 
And White is winning now, but it's not going to be enough on time. Wow, he's not losing this on time. This is crazy. How many moves does he play? Penguin. And he won on time. What? This is crazy. This is completely crazy. How is that possible? Wow. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm really slow, but that was like speed demon. I mean, crazy quick. Yeah, this is a very nice position by by White, yeah, or for White. Black's uh, King's Indian here was uh, really, really terribly played. Yeah, that that was. A slight progress for black, but it's still it's still pretty terrible. Now white has um, a clear advantage in space. The only issue is the yeah he should have uh, probably prevented this. Interesting. Yeah, black is able to um, put very strong. Um, a very strong piece positions up e5 g5 and even the rook on b6 is uh, having uh, having some kind of influence now um, nicely done by black he was completely toast out of the opening and now he's um, maybe winning even it looks uh, quite terrible c3 is falling and the attack of the knights combined with the rook on b6 will be probably winning Uh, the question is the queen's in the defense black's best try against d4 I'm, i don't know you can play many openings of course and it's uh, it's more about what is best for you than uh, some objective evaluation oh, is does he does he survive that it looks really really difficult okay now the queen if black does not find a mate here penguin will win Oh, somehow, somehow, it didn't work out. Wow, <laughs> can he win this? I, I cannot believe what he's doing with the pre-moves. Yeah, so black one on time. That was an up and down, an up and down game. Um, I'm going to um, check the the standings and see if uh, Magnus is catching up. Probably uh, probably not. He had um, some connection issues. So who else is on? I mean, there are a couple of really, really strong uh, players. Um, maybe let's watch somebody, somebody else for the moment. I'm following um, Ali Reza, that is a very strong junior player from Iran. Ali Reza Fiuja, I'm probably completely killing that uh, pronunciation. Uh, is a very promising junior player. As you see, 2003 is probably the year. A year of birth, I mean. Yeah, in this position, um, black is the exchange up, but the A pawn is extremely dangerous. I mean, black can absolutely never lose but uh, it's not easy um, to win. Probably here it is winning because g2 will fall. He has to sacrifice now as knight b7 was uh, threatened and now this should be a win for black. And the king and pawn ending is a win. And Ali Reza will easily checkmate with the, with the, with the queen now. Um, and we have a mate here against Kukus. That was Petra Papp, very strong also. Yeah, thanks for the message in the chat. <laughs> Some people, they, they watched my videos uh, for, for years. Thanks a lot. Yeah, this year it will be seven years since the channel started. Um, I did go on watch, right? Yeah, so next game here by Ali Reza. He's currently in fifth place, so... 
close to the top and MSB2, I don't know who that is, would be nice to have that here, but it's not uh, in that preview. Yeah, here the check um, is giving or is netting. Oh, that queen has very little, uh, very little squares, but oh, white is dropping the queen. Oh, that was a, that was an easy one. And it was against the fourth play, so. But as we have seen, even the, the absolute best um, players in those tournaments, they have the odd bad game. Playing here against Opperwesen, that international master, I think Vincent Roth, who is, as they told me. Um, Vincent is, um, I think, uh, inactive in, uh, in over-the-board chess. I've played him. I've played him in tournament chess some years ago. That was my most beautiful win ever against Opperwesen. Um, absolutely the most at least the most uh, um, the most um, yeah spectacular win was against the black player in this game um, okay so here um, Ali Reza has the had the, has the better position I cannot post a link to to my to my game there it was played in a, in a local league game so it is not on any uh, major database, it is on in my personal database. Let's say I once um, made a video on it on on King's Crusher's channel a long time ago. Yeah, White is um, here clearly better with the pin on on e6, and um, difficult for Black to uh, to defend this position. I don't really see how R the knight on e6 is hanging. Bishop f5 is a threat. Rook d8, okay, that's a good try. Yeah, h7. And the light squares are extremely weak. Queen g6 probably, no. Okay. Yeah, white also has the clear, clearly better time. Uh, MSB2 is Blühbaum. Okay, yeah, that, that fits, yeah. That fits. Yeah, I'm going to follow Magnus again a little bit, but I don't want to do it the whole time. So um, I just learned that he's like in the 40s, yeah? 40th place, yeah, 24 now. So let's have a look. Playing Baba Ramdev, we had him earlier on the stream. And uh, Magnus here is... Um, in an equalish position, knight c6 is now the threat. Maybe white is a little bit for choice due to the activity on the c file. It can be the slightly better ending here for white, maybe. Now, f7 is uh, falling, right? Why dare is count to play a little bit for black? Yeah, we'll see. Magnus is going to uh, be able to convert it. Yeah, now I'm going to take bets that he is. That should be that should be working. No self-made though, yeah, with rook h1 or something. <laughs> yeah, okay, three extra pawns, and he's got six um, extra seconds. But I, I, I kind of feel, as uh, somebody mentioned in the chat, that he's got connection issues. It doesn't feel so fluent, yeah? It's very quick, usually, and this feels a little bit, yeah, a little bit less convincing. Connection issues, however, can be really terrible in um, in online chess in general, but in, the, um, in Bullet in particular. This is also a general problem for the, the typical for those, is that a stalemate? No. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit of a problem for the online tournaments that they're now with money and so on. If you lose your connection or your connection is really bad, then you have problems. Yeah, simply. Okay, so kind of a weird opening by both players, especially by black. <laughs> 
Mm, yeah, so Magnus will definitely catch up to the top unless the connection gets worse, which can be the end of any uh, any aspirations, of course. So here, um, here the um, the weakness on e6 is a big issue. At some point, White will probably put a piece on e6 and simply open the position up. Yeah, like here, yeah? just open it up, even if it costs a pawn. Yeah, here sacrifices on e5 look eh, probably not super convincing, to be honest. Bishop e5 was not a convincing win. He's just doing it uh, slowly but surely, double on the f file maybe. Okay, no, it's going for the trade of the bishop. That also looks very strong. That looks very strong. White is definitely um, winning, but he's not playing quickly, and he, the time is ticking down. Yeah, that will be a difficult tournament for Magnus if the connection is um, is really that problematic. The time is extremely important, of course, in those in those events, and if you are down or if you're in problems the whole time, very difficult. Yeah, here bishop g7 wins material and he played it. Still not um, so easily converted. And now that should win with some d6. Yeah, but you're not going to mate and the time is an issue. A huge problem. Ah, that's bad, that's not good, yeah. Black now is, is for choice. Black's pieces coordinate very well. The pawns are rolling and Magnus has no time on the clock. F2 and winning. Yeah, yeah, not easy at all. But it felt weird. Yeah? It was very, very slowish at some point. And, um, yeah, you, you cannot overcome that. If your connection is totally um, hampering you, you can play... Uh, on, on any given level, it, it's not enough. So here um, he's going for for Pilz defense or modern defense. Yeah, he's probably not winning the tournament. That's very much very much possible. If you have this kind of problems, hard to overcome. Um, H6 here was hanging, wasn't taken by white for some reason. Yeah, maybe the connection uh, gets better. He can, he can definitely, um, um, he can definitely overcome some um, some points behind. But um, eh, it's not going to be all that easy. This is also not a game that black should win. I mean, uh, a draw maybe, but winning seems very difficult. Yeah, no, e5 is... Um... Yeah, black can try on the dark squares, but he should, normally speaking, not win. Maybe um, maybe there is some bishop queen g3, now black wins. Or this probably could win as well. Mm, no, it should, it should be a draw. You know, if white just puts the bishop on the long diagonal and waits, should should be very drawish. Oh, that was a weird decision. Yeah, so he is winning it, position-wise at least, by two seconds. Yeah, and Cuckoo's lost on time. Yeah, Georg Meyer, 24th place. <laughs> Hey, he's, Georg is a very strong player and um, not even bad at bullet. It shows how strong this um, strong this event is.
yeah, we've got a Catalan type of position where white, I think, should be better. White's pieces are a lot more active and he's got potentially um, even an attack on the king. Uh, Tactico asks, why isn't Tang streaming? Hmm, well, if you want to win $3,000, you probably should try to really do all the best you can. And he's got very good uh, chances. Yeah, if um, I don't think that any of the other guys um, can can put up a real a real fight. I mean, maybe Magnus can pull a comeback, but I don't think um, any of the others can do it. We'll see, but uh, I think it's I think it's difficult. This is also a game that Magnus should not win. He's got um, the time advantage, but. Yeah, I think Carlsen plays this exclusively for the fun of it. Uh, he absolutely does not care about the first prize, like the money connected to the first prize. I mean, like in Norway, you can look up what people earn. I mean, they have a public record for that. And this is what Magnus owns in a couple of hours per day, uh, earns um, in a couple of hours per day, the 3000 just by being him, basically. Um, so um, he doesn't care. And he won that game. I think uh, he likes to win because he likes to win, but not because he needs the money. So um, white, what do we have here? B3, G3 stuff. White um, is definitely in good shape here. Um, am I going to stream regularly again? I have to, I have to, I have to check it, yeah, because I, the streams that I did um, in the first couple of months this uh, this year, they were all too late during the day German time. It was in the, in the night time usually, and um, and it was too late for me. My sleep rhythm got uh, completely down the drain. My camera is aimed too high. You should use the rule of thirds. Hmm. Okay. I think I can adjust the camera. Maybe. Better. <laughs> Okay, so Magnus has won a couple of games. He's getting uh, getting closer. Kaching here, Kaching um, is uh, really doing what is the rule of thirds? I have no idea what the rule of thirds is in the in the first place, I cannot tell you. So here, black is black is in good shape. He's got the C file. White is no attack. And uh, bishop b4 now is an idea, or bishop a3 even looks pretty awful. By the way, I turned off all the notifications here yeah, because um, it sounded like it is it is annoying. So if you I don't even see the donations. If you donate anything, I'm super happy if you do, but I don't see it currently. So, um, so here Magnus is up a queen, right? Fearlessly going to e5, rook g6, king e5. Can you do that? Yeah, it's no mate.
what's going on here? <laughs> Isn't that even so clear? Or is there the king on e5 looks looks difficult to handle? Okay. This is the kind of position where I probably would get checkmated, yeah, by some silly thing. Yeah, so Magnus has done it, of course. E5 now is a little idea that you should be aware of. And he's just sending the D-pawn down the board. Yeah. And Queen D2 will pick up the rook. Yeah, very nice job. And he won this game. So let's have a look at the standings. So Penguin is leading with 50 points. How many points? Magnus is 16 behind. This is not so much. It's not so much at all. So I'm going to watch a bit of Penguin and see what, what he's doing. Yeah, it's got a very nice um, position here against Agination. I am Agination. Yeah, F3 now is an idea and uh, it was picking up a piece. White's king is a little bit out in the open, but he's got so many um, so many pieces around it so that it doesn't matter. The queen probably has to go all the way back. And now bishop f6, yeah. This is going to be a dangerous attack on black's king, actually. Yeah, queen takes h5 now is an idea. Ah, yeah, imagination. <laughs> That's a nice one. Yeah, yeah. I didn't didn't catch that one at first. I am imagination is imagination. <laughs> True. So who's checkmating who here? That set looks super crazy. Mm. Queen f3 mate is a threat, but white comes first. Rook g1 will lead to mate. No mate now. Very nicely done. And mate. Woo! <laughs> Very good job here by Penguin. He's crazy, crazy quick. Yeah, Magnus doesn't have a world champion as a title. That would be cool to have here, right? But uh, it's not really a title um, as the as the other ones are. I mean, they, they take the titles that are given by the, um, by the by, 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 by FIDE or by national federations. The World Championship title technically is not such a title. For example, it's not something you get uh, for, for your whole life. It's temporary. Um, okay, so let's see what happens here. Black is a pawn down, Penguin, but uh, he's got a good position. Um, Garkos asked, uh, he bought both of my chessable books. There are actually three. For what rating did you mean them to be? Um, that's difficult. The English um, opening is uh, meant for a reasonably high level. I don't quite remember what we put what we put in the in the description on chessable i think like 1800 plus would be reasonable the banco is also rather more of a difficult one but this i think also could be played by lower rated players the e4 repertoire um, is basically it can be used by by basically anybody i think even though you can argue um, what your level should be until you need some kind of opening advice Okay, let's look at this penguin here. He's down a pawn, but the f pawn is somewhat dangerous. However, white has b pawn, knight, and rook here in the attack against the king. So this is a very, uh, yeah, how do you call it? Scrappy kind of position where you, where anything can happen, I believe. 
King is on the edge of the board. Oh, <laughs> that was a very unlucky moment for uh, for White. Yeah, Black Black should win now. Penguin should, but the A pawn is is the only pawn that he's got left, and oh, the time is really really bad time situation. Ah, 96. That it's all pre-move now. Yeah, White will probably win it. Yep. Women candidate master. There are several females with 1100 feeder and have the WCM title. Yeah, this is true. But um, the the WCM title or the the CM title, also um, the the general CM title, not the WCM title. They are also awarded for accomplishments in junior competitions, and um, this is something that um, is not um, dependent on rating. So, those um, people who got uh, those those are youngsters who won like the under eight championships of a continent or something. You can argue about that, but I think it's okay if they give out titles to to award that somehow. Yeah, here Penguin um, should um, just wins his upper material and black is uh, simply not moving. <laughs> okay, that's not very fair. That's not very fair. I mean, he's screwing up his own chances, but also of the one who was ahead. That's not very, um, very sportsmanlike. Okay, so next game for Penguin. I'm going back to Carlsen. Ah, Opperwesen is a cool opponent, so let's see how he's doing there. If it, I think it's crazy. If you, I don't know, you don't quite see it here in the stream. I can. They have played more than uh, three, um, more than 500 games already <laughs> on Leeches, and Penguin is leading by 330 to roughly 200. Okay, so here white has a nice position. G4 is a cool move. He's opening up the king side, maybe giving up the G4 pawn for, for opening up of lines. Operwesen did not react to it at all. This is like completely lost. Yeah, white has a completely winning position here. He's got the attack and even an, a pawn to boot. No, he doesn't have a pawn. I'm sorry. Yeah, white has a huge attack, G, the G file, and uh, I cannot believe that black should be able to save that. Bishop G7 should win, Rook G7. Yeah, now there are threats on H7. There, there's just, Queen H7 is a nice mate. Queen H7, okay, that wins as well, but Queen H7 was made in two as well. <laughs> okay, so cool. Penguin is still leading. Is Magnus on the first page already? I don't think he is, right? He isn't. Ali Reza now actually leading. It's one of the favorites here, I think. So where is Magnus? He's still sitting here. He lost games. Um, difficult. If he's not catching up quickly. Playing against the number five. And his position is tough, <laughs> tough to explain. It's very weird. White has huge compensation here for what? For a pawn? Yeah, it's a pawn, but white's position should be fantastic here. Yeah. Still, what about the b7 pawn, uh, b7 knight? Okay, he's getting one back. He definitely uh, can win it, um, but it's it's a matter of time. If you cannot, um, if you are have an, if you have an unreliable connection, it will be very difficult to overcome. So yeah, that that ending should win. Yeah, yeah. Now it is. If you get the, if you get the C pawn, it's easy. Rook B eight coming. F6 
FM Hawk 20 yeah, on those roughly 20th place uh, still very strong bullet players I mean he has lost more, lost more than 100 points um, in the first um, 40 minutes of this event which shows that he that he is struggling yeah this looks like a good position for black yeah? knight comes to d4 all with tempo and now there is um in d3 f3 is weak Yeah, black should. Hey, white actually resigned. Yeah, that's early, but black is completely winning. It's got 12 extra seconds. So that's. Um, who is Samuel Chess? Grandmaster. Samuel Agamaliev. I don't know him. Sorry. Yeah, roughly equal position here. Get rid of that one, sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is a roughly equal position, but white has um, gotten some some pieces near the king, and now, um, yeah, it is still it is still roughly equal. White has got the more active pieces. Rook cannot go to d1. That's very important. So black will get the d file, and now black is probably better and has won a pawn on a four. Rook d1, yeah, threatening mate on e1. Yeah, okay, Carlsen is clearly uh, on top in this game. Yeah, white resigned. Early resignations here. This is definitely helpful, yeah, if you don't have to play out um, all those all those positions. So Magnus is catching up a little bit, getting to 12th place. It's of course very essential that he gets a, a string of wins. Um, and then he gets those streak points. So an English opening here by White, pretty slowish setup, probably going for B4 break, yeah, which now happened. Yeah, this very close positions, they are um, not um, going to be decided quickly. Knight E4, he didn't do it one move earlier. It was already decisive, I think, one move earlier. Knight f6 check. This is the mother of all forks. Black can safely resign here. Yeah? Queen h8 and knight f6 is killing. Yeah, and white wins everything. Oh, interesting. Yeah? Queen e8 was also decisive, of course. Yeah, it wasn't even the best, yeah, technically speaking, but white is totally winning. Knight c5. Yeah, that's definitely true. The the message in the chat that Magnus needs to win against the leaders, and that will happen. If it will happen, I don't know. But um, winning against the leaders in the tournament will stop their streaks and extend his own streak, which will be essential, of course. Yeah, this is a completely winning ending with two extra pawns. Still, um, this is taking a lot longer than it needed to take. It wasn't the absolute best technical play. Yeah, but now the F pawn is doing the job. F5, F6, F7. You cannot stop it. You can just, okay, you can win the rook. Okay. <laughs> so another, another win here by Magnus. So he's got a couple of wins in a row and is on the first page so it's on page seven and he's 20 points behind the razor yeah i'm going to watch him a little bit uh, and see how the tournament leader is doing playing here against uh, vallejo pons okay very strong very strong grandmaster in over the board chest 2700 for a long time here, um, Vallejo is, a, is an exchange up. And uh, it's also 
up a pawn. It looks very good. White should win this, but okay, black's position is still somewhat tricky. Uh, sometimes ideas with bishop f4, like now, well, pieces are reasonably active and the rooks um, are not currently doing that much. It's still tough, it's still tough to win in this kind of bullet uh, setting. So Reza is good, doing a good defensive job. Yeah, rook c3 now, maybe. Uh-huh, doesn't do it. Yeah, maybe he has to watch for the a pawn. That's possible. I think white is not playing quickly enough. Those uh, three, four seconds difference can... Oh, now the rook has been blundered, or the exchange, ultimately. No, rook h4, I expect, queen h4, king h4, I expect. It's there an issue, uh-huh. Oh. Oh, that was a, that was a connection problem. Yeah? Black lost on time at the end, timed out. So let's hope that um, connection issues are not deciding this event. Yeah, I think he's 15. He's one of the youngest grandmasters in the world. Yeah, King's Indian set up by, by Black playing against Astra Ma Marie. Well, pretty um, even position, I would assume, with the Queen's uh, traded. But I think Black is quite active. An idea that comes to mind here is h5 and bishop to h6. Okay, not anymore. But uh, what Black wants to do is, um, that's a weird move, g5. Weakening the light squares a lot. White should play g4 and knight e3 to f5 and just be better. Yeah, good job by white. I think um, he has gotten a pretty nice uh, advantage in this uh, in this game. Uh, nicely done. The very nice game by white. Black is completely, completely outplayed here in this game. It just um, the rook on f five is this kind of, kind of funny. Oh, and now there is counterplay and mate. <laughs> that can happen. Eh? Black was completely, completely outplayed, but uh, white stumbled into a checkmate. Yeah, that could have been me on the white side, <laughs> doing reasonably well and then, then playing something totally stupid. Okay, so we have, okay, black blundered a pawn here early on with the bishop b7 tactic. But uh, okay, in bullet chess, a pawn is not super important. Oh, that was a mouse slip. <laughs> and black wins. Yeah, this is how you can win as well, yeah? yeah checkmates, opponent blunders, queens, and so on. It's all part of it. Those um, those little wins, and imp importantly, don't do it yourself. Yeah, don't give away those easy points. So against imagination, uh, white is going for a small, uh, rather slowish setup, the color system. But it's easy to play. You can make quick moves without getting into um, any trouble. This is um, really important sometimes to just being able to dash out quick moves. Yeah, here white has, does he have the better ending? Um, yeah, I guess he does. No, the knight will have a good spot on c6 very likely. Okay, it doesn't happen. Yeah, white, I don't know, maybe he should have uh, Maybe he should have not played like that. No, he is. He really is quite young. It's not a wrong. The 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 year is is correct in the in the account name. But he is in trouble. Really in trouble. 
Okay, white has gained a lot, yeah, with getting the getting the deep on. Yeah, tough. It's still tough. Black has to move the bishop. Oh, he doesn't. Wow, there are tons of really, really hard mouse slips coming now. Okay, <laughs> don't see that too often um, for the guys um, at the top. Okay, so what's happening here? Magnus on sixth place. He's slowly, slowly getting there. Baba Ramdev really has a, a winning streak. Yeah, we can have a quick look what he's doing. Uh, I'll be playing Ali Reza, so we would have had this game anyhow. And no, I don't think you maintain the streak with the draw. You have to absolutely win. I think, I think I'm not a super, not an expert in that in that field yeah here black is in good shape absolutely i think i think he's got uh, all that space gained and uh, okay the queen side mm. d6 check So black, black is a piece of. Oh yeah, I don't know. Some people really, really want to get banned. Yeah? Anyhow, what's going on here? Yeah, White has wriggled himself out of everything and is winning. Mate, wow, okay. Yeah, very, very fighting, kind of fighting is wrong. Yeah? I'm, I'm lacking the right word here, like up and down struggles. Yeah? It's more like, yeah, people are going like, oh, yeah, like that. <laughs> okay, he's playing. And Baba Ramdev is playing AK fifty now. Yeah, here black is uh, definitely okay. Probably um, quite equal in this position. I've got penguin playing Magnus. Yeah, I don't want. I want to watch that. To be honest. So peng penguin is white. And uh, we have a complicated position here with basically everything on the board. This is a really big one. Yeah, Magnus sh has to win this if he wants to get anywhere in this in this uh, event. Um, position is probably better for White, but um, it's quite quite a messy position. Yeah, no, I think the last couple of moves were rather in favor of Magnus here with black. White's king is a little bit weakish. And um, yeah, I think maybe objectively white is better, but I think um, it's easier to play black in this scenario. Yeah, I have, uh, I have some mods actually for that channel, but I, I don't think they're around. This is the thing. 
it's kind of uh, it's unusual. Usually somebody is around. Yeah, now white is better. Yeah, G seven is is weak, and um, I think um, yeah, here Queen G seven was even a threat. Oh, white yeah, Queen F four. Queen F four. Ah, Queen H three mate. Oops, he definitely, he almost certainly overlooked that. And now Queen G seven mate is on the cards. Queen H eight, King G six, snow mate. Ah, he's bringing the king to H five. This is crazy. Oh, that was a blunder. <laughs> Uh, ooh. And now it's all about the time, but Penguin is so quick, I cannot believe that Magnus can pull that off. Yeah, Penguin will win this. That's a very, it was a very important one. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that was a very tough game. Okay, I'm going to watch a bit of Magnus now. If he can, oops, that was not what I wanted to do. Sorry. That was a very tough game. I mean, it's it's still not decisive. We are at, um, there's still one hour left. So Magnus is playing Baba Ramdev. Yeah, Magnus has a winning position. Yeah, that's it's so weak on the dark squares that he that he should win this. White is a pawn up and the bishop pair, and now d5. That's actually a very instructive move. Yeah, the, the the knight is now completely dominated. The only way for it to be better is to come to e5, but that takes a long time. And um, yeah, white, white should win still. B7 is weak, D6 is weak. Black cannot cover the pawns, so he resigned. Important win here for for the world champion to be somewhat somewhat in the hunt. In the hunt, not the hunt. <laughs> okay, against Georg Meyer. Going for some, and yeah, this seems to be one of the blitz uh, lines that, uh, or bullet lines that Carlsen has in store. This f5, knight h6 business. Yeah, that's weird. Right, but in bullet chess, you can do all kinds of things. E6 is weak, everything is weak, but there is no there are no pieces to exploit that. In fact, black has won the d4 pawn very importantly. Yeah, that's a very nice position for black with that pawn. However, white has some play and now he has regained one pawn. Okay. No, white, white is not in such bad shape now. The problem is that the queen on d5 is very strong. And black has very little um, activity to show for it. Tough game for Magnus that that he should lose. I don't see how he's going to pull off an upset here. He almost has to take. And now, how do you stop the queen c7 and promotion? Probably you don't. Yeah, even the knight can capture. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Magnus resigned. 
tough. Okay, now he's playing Ali Reza, the current tournament leader. He's going for a double of Hankello. Yeah, knight h3. Yeah, always kind of <laughs> shut a little bit at those moves. I mean, as a chess teacher, <laughs> I really like to see the world champion play uh, play good moves and not uh, knight h3. But okay, it is a um, it is bullet chess, and you can do all kinds of funny things. Yeah, white is a lot better here. Just d6, uh, f5. Will be uh, should be devastating. Yeah, the knight, the f two knight is still, still pinned and cannot join join the attack. So, it's a good defense here by Black, not losing immediately. Uh, can you not take? Why can you not take d five? Ah, the check there. Aha, uh -huh, okay. But where is the win? Where is the win now? There wasn't a win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Very cold-blooded. Very cold-blooded. <laughs> Very nice defense by Ali Reza. I mean, he was certainly completely lost, but he did not uh, simply uh, fall apart. Okay, the two pawns there are still dangerous, so cannot completely um, count Magnus out of this. Yeah, yeah, it's going to promote. But Black uh, is having the first uh, bunch of checks. Wow. Yeah, black has the initiative with all the checks. And he blundered the queen. And he blunders the queen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, well, they, had, they had time. They had seconds. Yeah, that, that's, that's tough. Wow. That's the kind of silly action that you get in the bullet game sometimes. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that was, <laughs> was an important win for the world champion, but more than more than lucky, yeah. Okay, so we got a lot of trades in this game. Magnus got paired with number 28, lowly, lowly relatively 2600. Oh, queen e5, that's dangerous. Queen f6, yeah. if black cannot trade queens quickly, you will come under heavy pressure there on the king side. Yeah, rook, rook h1, queen g7 is just about holding, but it does, nicely defended. looks like black is under huge pressure but he's not cracking oh oh no, there wasn't a sacrifice that was more of a blunder but there is uh, there is tr there is still trouble for black you know looking at the rook on d8 bam there there goes the rook rook h8 and Black is checkmated. Yeah, that was an up and down game as well. Absolutely up and down struggle. So let me, I want to check the standings quickly. Magnus is in sixth place. He's behind 13 points. Very, very close. Everything is very close. Yeah. Basically, it's any anybody's game. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to watch this game seeing what penguin is doing okay so he's given up <laughs> given up yeah a piece for a million a million pawns 
Yeah, and why white should white should win, but <laughs> anything can happen, of course, as we have seen. Yeah, now black gets a vicious counter attack here on the long diagonal. H takes g2, winning the house, but king h1 is a is a defense. Black is running out of material. Very nicely played. Let's see six now hanging. It's still not super easy. It's still something you can definitely uh, screw up. Yeah, white's king position is really, really problematic. Yeah. So white has a winning position now for sure, but he's got no time. Yeah, and lost on time. Uh, and we, oh no, I, I, my, I don't speak French at all, yeah? There is no name in there. I mean, if it's from France, you, if it's in a French account, you always suspect um, that it's MVL, but maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Okay, let's see what Penguin is doing here. Uh, Kaching, or Kaching, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's playing this weird opening the whole time. Jules Moussa, okay. Uh, he's a 2600 GM, I think. Yeah, maybe caching is what, what is meant by this account. <laughs> anyway, so let's have a look here. Penguin yeah, has a good position. 2600, I meant. Mr. Moussa. Yeah, black here is clearly, clearly better, and he's got a pawn on top of it. No, black has excellent control here, and white has no real play that is, um, that is apparent at least more of a positional positional game this one okay now there's a, a big skewer and uh, the rook cannot move i mean so there is a win of an exchange anyway and black is not taking it this is a, always remarkable yeah? you almost automatically take the rook but he didn't have to take it the whole time he just uh, wanted to do it at a better, more fitting moment. Yeah, it's still not, it's not easy. The white pawn there is uh, very strong on the e-file. Not easy for Penguin, but he's got more time. That is very important, of course. Okay, no white is better, <laughs> but the time is not great. Takes 96. Yeah, white should win, but okay, it's the time. <laughs> and Penguin playing Ali Reza, the first two places. Yeah, very very complicated position maybe white is better if you do it like on computer terms but uh, we already see the combinations here yeah, coming yeah, okay when black is probably lost but it is very complicated still the long diagonal is quite weak and now the 
And then um, Black is trying trying for counterplay, but he is not going to do it without the queen. So, <laughs> okay, so win by penguin. Let's have a look. I want to check the, the standing quickly. It is uh, really again 15 points yeah, between Magnus and the tournament leader. Really, really tough. But he has to. He still loses the odd game, and he has to get a winning streak rolling. Carlsen has to. Yeah, here he is definitely better, winning the d5 pawn and having, um, yeah, the much better piece placement. <clears throat> now I can simply take, play d5, and um, that that looks like fairly clean um, clean win for the world champion. Oh, is that working? Can take on c5 probably. No, ah, this is better. Well, it's nice, yeah. Now the check. And the ending should be winning. Is it winning? It's not it's not that easy. It's not that easy. Mm, it's Maybe not even objectively a win. The B pawn currently isn't worth all that much. No, that is not. That's not a win. I'm not sure if what Black did was all that great, but it's probably a draw. Yeah, that the time I tricked him, he just took the F pawn. Okay, <laughs> and now this will be a flag, flagging game. <laughs> that is so silly, you know. But that is what happens in this time control. Yeah, white one on time. It's of course dead, dead draw. But um, yeah, it's what it is. If you don't want these uh, situations, then you have to avoid non-increment bullet. It just happens. Okay, um, Baba Ramdev now. Okay, you've got C3 Sasai in here. Yeah, I'm fairly sure that uh, Lee Chess is going to do um, a thorough uh, check uh, of all the all the games and the tournament for cheating. There was a question in the chat: What is done in that um, by that regard? I don't know how exactly that works. Okay, so here this is a completely equal position. Or sometimes I wonder if it is an idea simply to offer a draw yeah, and get uh, and get on with it. Yeah? But um, Carlson is trying to do something. Ah, there is a there is a message here by Leach's, uh moderator. So they all watch this very seriously for cheating. Like not this game or anything in particular. I mean the whole tournament, of course. Okay, this is a total draw. I mean, does it make sense to continue this? <laughs> yeah, Magnus is trying. It seems he's got more time on the clock. Yeah, and yeah, look, H three. Yeah? How do you stop that? Now look, H three. There's Queen D six. Check. And he blunders g4. g4 was hanging. Yeah, so it, it, it should be a draw, but that is flag town again. <laughs> uh, okay, it's a draw. Couldn't um, couldn't keep the pawn on, on the board.
Yeah, should he have offered a draw at the very beginning, maybe? Not at the very beginning, but the beginning of this completely dead position? I don't know. So, what happens here against Vallejo Pons? Sideline in the Sicilian. Yeah, probably roughly equal this position. Yeah, I've got bishop against knight. And um, the bishop is um, looking like the stronger piece at the moment, but that could definitely change if we get um, an ending where the pawns are not mobile. It is symmetrical after all. Probably it is, it is an equal position. Uh, it's roughly equal. I think black will manage to uh, trade off one rook and then uh, not, nothing much happens. Knight f5 was an idea that was not really... Um... Oh, interesting. Interesting play by, by Magnus. White immediately returns this. Okay, and this is, this king and pawn ending, I think, wins for black. Because you will get the outside passer. Mm, maybe not. Sure, king f4. Maybe not. c4. And black wins. Right, but he's quicker, right? Yeah. Uh, in those endings, it rarely happens that he makes any mistake. Yeah, this queen ending two pawns up is a win, and especially now. Again, a queen, king, <laughs> a queen ending. Okay, and black wins uh, as it as it should be. He was uh, better the whole time. And now playing Macrofago. Um, I don't know this. I have to check the standing. We're nearing the end of the tournament. Now we are 37 minutes left. Yeah, this is a problem. <laughs> Knight comes to c5, and black is completely lost. Yeah, Magnus is totally lost. Macrofago here doing a great job. Queen c8 made, yeah. Okay, it's uh, really tough. Mm. Yeah, that, that should be a win. Yeah, Magnus cannot afford to give give away games like that, where he, where he is the favorite for sure. But uh, they are all they are all strong players. Not not that easy. So he is fifteen points behind with thirty six minutes to go, and he has to overtake all of them. Now that seems tough. The whole tournament is wide open. It's really wide open. So. I'm going to, oops, I'm sorry, watch some of the leaders' games here against Penguin. Ali Reza is still leading this event the whole time. That's definitely true. I mean, I don't agree that it is fair. There's a, um, a thermo doc says in the chat that everybody knows Magnus and gives 120% to win. This is definitely right, yeah? But this is um, the, the case with every 
sport where you are um, just an outstanding performer. It can be a team or a single single player. It's the same thing in, in any team sports. You know, if you're Real Madrid, everybody gives like 100, 120% against you. Yeah? That is just what it is and they still win. I'm just making an example. I'm not a particularly Madrid fan or anything. Or if you are, I don't know, Roger Federer or Tiger Woods some years ago, yeah, you know that people give the absolute best. Okay, Penguin won this and um, it's super, super close. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, if you're Real Madrid, you get a free win. Yeah, that's uh, there's some truth to that. At least that that game was a little bit weird against Bayern. Anyway, so here Ali Reza is in trouble for sure against Wizard ninety eight. The H foul will be dangerous, very dangerous. Wow. Yeah. But he's defending. He's really defending. Yeah, black wins. Yeah? Very nicely played here by Ali Reza. Not like, maybe not directly winning, but it looks very close. Uh oh. I have no clue who's winning there. <laughs> Wizard here yeah, is uh, putting up a nice fight. Yeah, and uh, he won. He's still close to the lead. He is close to the lead the whole time. Yeah, Magnus is not getting a winning streak and you know, he, he doesn't have those fours in. This is super important to get uh, get the winning streaks rolling. Yeah, again a B3 uh, based opening here for, for Ali Reza. And uh, he's got a Easy to play um, position, I guess. Thanks for the cheer. Now Black has a nice play on that uh, on the long diagonal. Yeah, this tournament will have um, also the point count for the top players will be lower. It's a much more open uh, issue. Yeah, I think black is in quite quite good shape here, probably. The pressure on the long diagonal, the bishops, a nice job here by Arka. But it's still not a straightforward win or anything like that. Now black is trying to put as much pressure as possible and it looks very dangerous. F5 was hanging. Now a very strong attack here for black. Um, wow. I'm kind of amazed that white is not just falling apart, but now he does. Yeah, very nicely done by black. Like all All power moves. And Penguin comes in first at the moment. And first against second again playing. They have uh, already played a couple of games. They have played four games today. And Penguin, or oh, this is the fourth game. Penguin is currently leading. So we have a Benoni type of position where, um, yeah, who's better here and why? <laughs> I don't know. 
Black seems to be okay, if you ask me. Yeah, black black is okay. He ha only has this potentially quite a weak king position. That can always be an issue. And now he's going to go for e4 at some point and get the knight to e5. But first of all, he opens up the queen side. Okay, now just b4 maybe. F4, yeah, was that was the idea. Okay, quite that's just a mess, yeah. The A pawn is dangerous, but the white king can be a potential potential issue. G3 hangs knight f4 is also a move. Which is not played. Yeah, and now white is getting the initiative here, I think. Knight e5. I expected knight e5, but it didn't happen. So that the queen uh, that, that the knight gets finally some activity. Rook e7. I think Penguin should win this one. Yeah. And rook e6. Yeah. That was nice. That looked like a good job. Well, white. So I'm keeping an eye on the standing. I want to know if something happens. No, Magnus is not not coming here. He's not going to do that. I think one of the two are going to do it. Ali Reza or Penguin. I'm I'm with Penguin. I think he will will do it. So let's see if he keeps on winning. Yeah, good position here by Penguin here against. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to try. I'm, a, I have no, no, ability whatsoever, to pronounce anything in French. So I'm not going to try. Um, but uh, yeah, Penguin is clearly better against the the French player here with White. Uh, queen to b7 is going to be the killer, which is somehow not played. Okay, if you have a fork there, <laughs> then you just win. Yeah, very nice, uh, very nice job here by Black. Thanks for the cheer, Rx. Yeah, Night King. We haven't heard of him, right? Bortnik is very strong player, actually. But some are not having a good event this time. Yeah, there can be all kinds of influences. First of all, bullet is much... Um, it's a flow thing. If it if it kind of if you got this flow going, uh, everything is uh, is great. And sometimes you just don't get there. And uh, things like connection quality and um, technical issues that they are important. So you never know what what's happening there. Yeah, very good position here, by the way, for Penguin GM. He should be very happy with this. He's just got the center and playing just a really nice positional game being better d5 is something that i would expect but this this looks very strong as well yeah those uh, pieces uh, but white is white has a great attack mm, yeah but no okay no no lots of things are traded huh a knight king is of a piece Amazing. He had he had a rotten position, absolutely. Yeah, black is completely winning. Uh, there's a there's a discussion uh, in the in the chat about 
um, about uh, if anybody else then Magnus wins this tournament, which is very likely, should they didn't donate the money uh, back uh, for the next tournament or not. And uh, I have a clear opinion, they should not donate. Absolutely not. I mean, if they want to, okay, it's uh, it's their choice, but uh, um, I think they shouldn't, especially if it's one of the two guys. Yeah? Like, uh, Penguin is, I don't know, in his late teens, yeah? and uh, Ali Reza is a young, uh, like he's 14, 15. They have good use for this money, and um, they, they shouldn't uh, donate it. My opinion, it's their choice, of course. But uh, I mean, like, if I would win it, I would take it as well. I mean, just my, just my, my opinion. I mean, I, I can't. I'm just too bad. But just theoretically speaking, so a very um, in good position again here for Penguin against Ali Reza. Those games are super important, of course. This is not a position you want in a bullet game. The white position, I mean. The king is completely insecure. I don't think. I don't see a win. I mean, okay, that's my problem. <laughs> but black seems to be uh, in very good shape. I mean, he's got two or three pawns, yeah, for the for the piece. What is your rating? Like my rating? <laughs> I'm two two four fifty in uh, in classical chess. My bullet here is also like two four fifty. It's up and down, of course. Yeah, we can hear Ali Reza is is defending. He's defending extremely well. Where well, now we've got some some blunders, but and Penguin is coming back and winning. Yeah, I think he's going to win that. I'm. I think. Oh. <laughs> Okay, this is not so easy now. <laughs> <It's a laughs> That's one. No, I don't have any Grandmaster norms. Thanks for, for asking. I'm mostly playing for fun nowadays. I do more of writing and teaching. Yeah, it's it's a tough pairing, yeah, <laughs> for, for 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 Andrew Tang. He could have gotten anybody, and he gets Magnus of all people, and it's not a nice position to be in because Magnus definitely has an attack going here. Let's see what happens. Oh, thanks for the feedback on my commentary. I'm glad uh, if you enjoy it. Everybody has their style of doing it. I mean, there have been some good commentators in the first four editions as well. Yeah, Magnus is better here despite being the exchange down, I think. The F pawn is dangerous, though. The F pawn is dangerous. Maybe Magnus can just push the A pawn. Just push the A pawn. Ah. Mm, he's up on the clock. Penguin is up on the clock and Magnus is not finding something decisive. Yeah, that that's not his tournament. Uh, he 
he can escape, just about escape to not getting checkmated immediately. But um, yeah, yeah, that, that was that was a good choice. And the pawn is still dangerous. <laughs> but uh, okay, yeah, there's an H pawn. What a crazy position! It's still not so easy to do. Yeah, Magnus is maybe winning. I don't believe it. Yeah. Yes, he wins this. I don't. Oh, you will lose on time. Oh my God, Rook A6. Yeah, that's it. That's it, probably. <laughs> Let's check. It's just six points. Just six points. I mean, Magnus is not going to do it, but Penguin is close. That was super important. That was super important for him. So what's going on here? Um, playing Grandmaster Macrofago, and he is uh, up material. Yeah, it's a it's a rook. It's a full rook, actually. Uh, not full. Yeah, it's got pawns, but no play whatsoever. So the penguin should win this. Yeah, 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 that should be a relatively easy win for Andrew Tang. Yeah, and with the knight traded. Yeah, um, yeah, Penguin, I am under different um, username already was in the lead in the fourth um, edition and then Magnus got this fantastic um, winning streak um, together and uh, maybe he's doing it uh, now winning winning this event finally in this particular position I think um, black is okay here wizard it's got this dangerous c pawn, even though what you have to take into account, the bishop on g7 is not playing at all. Not at all. Well, maybe white is actually better. It is still difficult, difficult to play. Yeah, now the D-pawn is getting quite dangerous. Oops, what's going on here? Queen F2. Uh, please don't do it. Yeah, somebody said if Magnus is winning, he's going to eat his cat. Don't do that. Yeah, it's not a good idea. Eating uh, cats for whatever reason. You can eat your head, maybe. Yeah, you don't damage. Uh, yeah, any anything. Don't hurt anything. Okay, so Opperwesen here playing against uh, the penguin. Yeah, that's um, pretty easily equalized him. Uh, it's a good position for black even. Yeah. Knight on e4 is dangerous. Knight d2 on the, on the cards. But not doing much right now. Okay. Yeah, now, now I rather think white is okay. Is it a7 hanging? And f3, yeah, I was thinking f3. And uh, yeah, that's a piece. Bishop f1. Yeah, it's not technically all that simple, but um, 
white is a piece up. Yeah, that will probably be a loss for black. Yeah, and Opperwesen wins this. So what is the standing? 15 minutes in, Penguin is leading by eight points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that will be that will be enough, I think. Penguin has a clearly better position here against Kaching. Probably just taking and rook d3 is good, but he might have something better. Yeah, and knight d4 is an idea. Rook d2 now threatening to win. Knight d4 is an interesting move. Okay, and he tries to do something simpler, which is probably also better. Now white is just under pressure in this situation here. It's got no uh, active play on its own. Yeah, takes knight f4, will win the exchange at least. Very good defense by white here, by the way. That's the kind of position that I would definitely would definitely just lose. <laughs> but white is hanging on here. King f2. Why was king f2 losing? I didn't see it. But that's probably my problem. So now penguin is winning, of course, being a queen up. Yeah, white resigned. Oh, Ali Reza is having a streak, yeah? That, that's going to be very close. Let's see what he's doing. Against RK50, yeah? I mean, Black, he's under, under pressure, but he's defending so, so well. Here, Black is just winning, I think. White's position is falling completely apart. Yeah, knight e3, queen c4 is, is an easy way to win, I think. Probably something else. Yeah, black, black should win, but there are still, still issues. <laughs> it's not easy. Maybe black can drum up um, a mating attack, like here. It's close, eh? it's really close. Rook c3. No, rook d1 mate now is the threat. Yeah, yeah that will be about the time. Very nicely played by black though. Yeah, black will win. Ali Reza will win this. Oh, <laughs> white has made a ton of moves. <laughs> Still at the end. Okay, I'm going to check again. Magnus is coming a little bit, but that, that cannot be enough. He's on streak. But Ali Reza is on streak as well. I think he's probably the favorite now. Oops. Okay, let's see what he does against GSVC. Relatively light pairing, yeah? Relatively. Yeah, 
This is all a, also a little bit about nerves, yeah, for the other guys. And for Magnus, it's absolutely unimportant. Yeah? It's, uh, if he pulls some sort of upset, it's cool. But I mean, for those guys, winning such a tournament is great. It's it's a lot of money, and it's uh, it's also some prestige, of course. But three thousand, not bad. Knight f2, wasn't that working? Okay. Let's see what happens here. Ten minutes left, by the way. Yeah, white has uh, lots of uh, white, white has a pretty substantial advantage. Okay, not anymore. <laughs> now black is a little bit better, but it's not not um, substantial. Okay. Yeah, objectively, it's a draw now. Maybe white can do something with the two connected pawns. Okay, okay, this is even a draw now without the H pawns. Okay, this is a draw. This is a draw. Magnus will probably finish maybe third or something. I it's also pretty a draw. They all they all give up points. Okay, what happens here? Penguin lost this game. I'm on follow, so he doesn't get... Oh, he's got really pared down. Wow. Mm, yeah, he's got a good position now. White screwed up the opening move order, I think, a little bit. That's a pretty decent position for black, who's got some space on the queen side. Queen c4 it was a good ending for black, but okay, didn't do it. Oh yeah, but this is very nice for black now, yeah. Winning this pawn um, is a is a huge one. Yeah, that that should be a win for Black. Very important win. Also, has got um, more time. <laughs> That's a good one. Magnus will donate the seventy five dollars he wins for fifth place. Yeah, you should, yeah. <laughs> 97, yeah, that's an issue. But this is a good defense. Good move, yeah, and a win for Penguin. Now playing Oppa Weser. Let's see. Reza is still in the lead. If he is he but he lost the last one. Let's see what happens here. He's yeah, up a lot on the clock actually. And also has a somewhat lower rated opponent, which is not Doesn't mean all that much, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, B7, okay. Now he's winning. I thought he would win, but it isn't the case, really. It's not, not that easy. Yeah, now he should win. Still threats on F2. Yeah, yeah. 
and he wins on time. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so here, this is the game. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure how close they are, but Penguin needs to win. That's really all. All that matters now. Maybe a draw for white is okay, but you cannot play for draw, of course. Five minutes left. Yeah, black is clearly better in this position. Very clearly better. But uh, white, uh, Ali Reza is a super tough defender. We have seen that. He has um, saved some really atrocious positions. <laughs> And again, yeah, he's put his knight on good squares, eh? connected it with the e5 square, but yeah, knights are tricky, but black is better. Very nicely played by black. Yeah, don't trade queens. Yeah, the queens have to be on the board. I'm amazed about the level of play is really great. I mean, they don't blunder. It all makes some sense, you know. And White has, he's, he's, he's tricked himself out of it somehow. Amazingly. White, yeah, such a tough defender. He now has the better ending with the Knights. It's still not easy. Yeah, well, they're still knights, but <laughs> a penguin has better time. That, that still can matter. It's not a super easy win. Oh, g7, and black is winning. Oh, he's winning this. Wow. Wow, that will be very close. What's the standing? Penguin now leading by two points. It's one of the two. Yeah, we know that yet. Sorry. <laughs> I'm following him actually. Watch game. Give me the game. Penguin. Yeah, if he wins it, he's, he's, he's uh, won the tournament, right? Three minutes left. But yeah, okay, I mean, Ali Reza might win quickly. That uh, can happen. No, that's not MVL. I don't think it's MVL. Yeah, it's not an easy drawing, yeah? absolutely not. Yeah, I think Penguin looks like he's better here. But it's not easy at all. Knight on d6 looks dangerous. But it doesn't threaten all that much. And now for e6, that's going to be super dangerous, e6. But black can play probably knight e5. Uh-oh. This is not going to be easy at all. And he's blundered the rook. No, he doesn't. Ah, sorry. <laughs> A super tough game for Penguin. Knight c5. What the heck? Super tough game after such a long tournament. Very, very complicated stuff. Queen d3 looks dangerous. And black is just making a draw here. Okay. What's happening here? So four points still. Are there going to be pairings actually? I have got Penguin against Arkham. We've got one minute left.
and they played a draw. So no pairings anymore? I don't know how this works. Oh, I blundered the rook. But okay, it's probably not important anymore as Penguin has basically has it in the back, I guess. Yeah, the time has run out. And White actually won this. So, Penguin GM wins it. Andrew Tang won the event. Congratulations to, to Andrew, who was very, very, very close last time but finished, I think, second place very close to him and was caught by Magnus Carlsen. This time um, he's winning the event in a very close finish, three points, and he won this crucial game against his opponent, um, Ali Reza. I have to check it again to not completely screw up the name. Ali Reza Firusha. Hopefully, somewhat correct. Who also played a fantastic event. They were both quite a bit um, ahead of third place. Like yeah, 10 points at least is something. Um, Magnus Carlsen, world champion at the end with 109 points. He's 16 points behind. Um, yeah, as it seemed, he had some connection issues and was not uh, probably able to play at his, um, at his best. Still a fantastic achievement by Andrew Tang. The first prize was exactly $3,000 and uh, um, in, the, in the first four events, Magnus Carlsen was the winner and donated this money um, back for the next tournament. Um, I don't know what will happen here. I don't uh, really expect that to happen again. If he just takes the money, it's uh, perfectly fine, of course. <laughs> Yeah, 3,000 bucks is not bad for two hours of bullet chess. I hope you all enjoyed the live stream. I was very happy to do it. And thanks um, to Leeches for asking me doing it. If you liked it, send some positive feedback. I'm happy to do it again for the sixth edition or some other um, announcers certainly also um, yeah, happy to do it. I think it's a, it's a really, really a cool event and uh, great to cover. Thanks a lot to all of you and bye-bye.